Cast your minds back to 2020 when the world was dead and basically everybody was locked in their rooms like monkeys locked into the zoo on meth. No one had anything to do until a game called Genshin Impact came out. And while everybody was jumping in on, on day one, I actually wasn't jumping in on it. Day one. Because I was also stupid as hell because I was thinking, oh well, this is probably some weird Chinese app that's gonna use our information. Probably initiate some type of spyware or something. How, how could you trust such a- Okay, here's my car keys, my social security, my credit cards, everything you absolutely need is right here. Well, that's part of the reason why I got into Genshin. You wanna know the real deal biggest reason of why? And it's a big one. Hey, there's something strange over there. Hey, there's something strange over- It is ridiculous. It is possibly the stupidest story or reason of why anybody got into Genshin. But tell me again, if you saw this ass, just swinging by in the wind like it's nothing shaking and jiggling like it's literally just some jelly in the wind you mean to tell me you won't actually pick up this game either that's some bitch ass lies and shit no bread no water just meat which is hilarious enough because a lot of people do not play Amber. Granted, at least I can stare at Amber's big booty ass all day, so I guess there is a victory royale reason for all this stuff. <laughs> also, think about it like this. Remember the whole time when it came to Breath of the Wild and how everybody was thinking that Genshin copied that shit? Even though they literally said they just took the inspiration from it. But when it comes down to things, boy, I understand y'all was hot and mad. I get it. And at the end of the day, you have two big booty women that was also in their games that could explore shit. And stop following me! Well, let me tell you the caveat that was really damn good when it comes to Genshin. What is one times one? Two. Because you get Lisa, right? That was the dope ass thing. Also, we wasn't calculating in math, we was calculating in waifus. Shut your bitch ass up! Plus, at this point, Genshin has literally become way more than Breath of the Wild to the point it's not even Breath of the Wild, it's its own damn thing now. Genshin now has its own set of crazy ass fans, which, what the hell is wrong with some of y'all Chinese players? Gosh, damn! But also at the same time, hell yeah, Chinese players, let's get it. I like how most of this video is about literally everything else and it's supposed to be about Amber, but there's really not many things I can really say about her. She's literally one of the basic anime heroine type of chicks that you will find in any single anime that ever really exists, cares about the main character, makes sure that they're good, wants to be friends with everybody, and all that sort of jazz. And I guess the last thing I could say is that Amber is literally the gliding champion of Monset and she will never let it down. And at least you can see that sweet madame ass keep flying through the sky. Honestly, I'm gonna need Kali to grow some jeans real quick too. I mean, hell, if she's friends with Amber, she need to get herself some ass as well. Then we can have two sweet me downs falling through the damn sky. Hell, you even got Barbara and Noelle that already got ass underneath their dresses as well. Like, you got literally holy ass and nightly ass. It doesn't make sense. Does Monset just have the thickest women, honestly? Even Mona is there. Monset is just literally the ass nation. It doesn't make any kind of sense. Now, about Klee. 